What's up guys, so today we're going to be unlocking Orion Camo in Modern Warfare 2. Now as you can see, I've unlocked 49 out of 51 challenges. The only thing I've got left is the Strella and I need two more double kills. And then to finish things off, we need one more headshot with the X-12. So let's just get on with it. That would have been it. I shot on my screen, there's no way. And that's a hit marker. I'm so done. Nice! That's not a double kill! Please, give me lunge, man! This is the dumbest challenge of all time. <gasps> go, 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 go! Please. Nice! That's a double kill. We've got one. One more. Come on. This is it. This is it. This is it. That's it. I'm pretty sure that's it. Come on. Hello? Was it not? Wait, we need one more. Mm-hmm. All right. Yes, please. Come on. Level 152. Weapon challenge completed. Bro. We need one more headshot with the pistol. And we're done. Bro, all I can see is the head. That's a headshot. There we go. Is that it? That is it. Is it just going to say weapon challenge completed like a million times? Never mind. It normally comes up like a million times in other Call of Duty games. But yeah, I'm pretty sure we have Atomic. Wait, Orion. It's not called Atomic. That was Vanguard. There it is. It looks so bad. Why did I even get this camo, man? It looks actually atrocious. It looks so bad that even the game doesn't want to show it. Okay, let's get into shootouts and see it in game. Hopefully it looks better in game. I haven't really seen it. I've only seen the previews of it, but I don't really think it was the greatest time investment. All of this like yellow and green stuff over here is disgusting. If it was just like all blue and purple, it'd look so good. But like, what is that? So, uh, yeah. It doesn't look very good. First kill with the Ryan camo coming up. Okay, I whiffed. Easy. The guy's using a shotgun. What about the Bass P? Oh, wait. This doesn't look bad. It's just not vibrant enough. It just doesn't pop out at you. It looks like I've just got 50 headshots for this camo or something. It doesn't look like I've got gold and platinum and polyatomic on every weapon. The Orion Peeler. I never want to see this thing again. I hated it, bro. Let's put polyatomic back on, shall we? That is way better. This looks like a better mastery camo than the proper mastery camo. It's so silly. Anyways, we're going to hop into some S&D with Orion camo, so I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the gameplay, and I'll see you guys later. I mean... Enemy UAV, Enemy UAV? Oh, fine. All right. You can have this as well. <laughs> Teammates. Oh my god, we got it. Okay, that was way too close. <laughs> that was way too close. Wait, what? How did I do that? What are you doing, Jeremy Corbyn? So, how much further do you want me to be, like... In cover. Oh my God. Enemy UAV active. Jesus, that head glitch is so bad. That's it? No? I thought that would have killed him. Fucking hell, getting bum rushed. 
Oh my god, I had to dial what, that in. What the f I don't know, man. No. I don't know how I killed that guy. Oh, he's in the floor. What the fuck, man? I really love as well that feature where you get naded and you get a stun effect. Or you get a stun effect. So you literally can't move. I think that's really cool and a really fun time. Alright. That's what you get for moving, cosmonauts. How dare you? You're not allowed to move. You're supposed to be sat in a corner. Oh. I'm so sorry. UAV out. Copy that. UAV is One HP ego chow. Wait, am I stupid? There's a guy here. Uh, look, in, look in the minimap. Is he? How is he there? UAV is being a fuel. Uh. My lord. Oh, oh me. How the fuck? 74 you user. Alright, that is rough. Like, what can he do in that situation? Oh, dear. Final minute. Guys, please, just stop playing like that. Like, he was prone behind there. And his teammate was next to him, too. Oh, my God. I just dodged death. Literally. Alright, you can calm it down, teammate. How on earth did I, like, get out of there alive? Thank you, I'll take that kill too. I just shot a decoy. There was a guy in both corners, by the way. There was this guy and there was a guy like straight forward. You can see him. No, teammate. Oh! Teammate, 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 teammate. They're just all my teammates are literally just prone. Okay, that is pain. Hostile UAV in the area. Hostile UAV? Oh, go on, Campman Carl. Let's see it then, mate. Let's see it. Don't tell me he's going to kill himself. I, I thought I was going to shoot the wall. Yes, I can get you. I can get you. I hate you for using final stand, but hey, it worked. What? There we go. No! Ain't no way that man just instant me off a head glitch like that. Let's see. What? On my screen, I was perfectly on a head glitch and he just shot my like the left hand side of my body. Oh my god. Aww. Let's go, Campman Cole. Let's go. Okay then, so this is the class setup that I was using with the MP5. I know some people like to use no stock, but I was awful with no stock. It's got so much visual recoil. So I preferred to use the FT mobile stock instead. For tuning then, let's start with the muzzle, maximum recoil stabilization, and maximum gun kick control. For the barrel, max recoil steadiness and max damage range. For the underbarrel, max recoil stabilization and max aiming idle stability. And then finally with the stock, maximum ADS speed and maximum aim walking speed. I stream every day at twitch.tv slash Ethan if you want to watch me play some S&D and maybe some Warzone 2 too. But yeah, around 2pm UK time is normally when I start it. Thank you very much for watching. I really do appreciate it. Leave a like if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you guys in the next one.